video lesson 6.8, dividing a line segment proportionally. Uh, this first example is a review uh, from unit one. So if you would like to look at this uh, size splitter method here, you can simply go to my video for 1.7 uh, the in order to find the size splitter method in uh, full video for that construction. Uh, for this one, I'm going to go to example number two here, and we're going to show you an alternate method uh, called the dilation method, and this is definitely a quicker way of uh, dividing a line segment proportionally. However, you do need to have a line that is parallel to the line that you are trying to uh, divide up. So. In this example here, uh, L down here is a line that is parallel to AB. Now, if you don't have a parallel line, you could always con do the parallel line construction, get yourself a parallel line, and then perform this dilation method uh, procedure. Um, but you, you do need to have a parallel line in order to do that. So let's start off by first taking the first step. Uh, I'm going to put a point on the line L, anywhere uh, that we want to put it um, outside of where A is. So A is right here. So anywhere to the left of A, uh, just for, again, convenience and ease, I'm going to put it basically here at the end. All right, let's call this D. All right. Um, and I'm going to draw a line uh, that connects D and A. So let's see here. Let's take that line segment. Let's draw a line segment like so. That goes from A through D, like so. All right, so now what I'm going to do is taking my compass, I'm going to divide line L up into whatever number of segments I want. So basically, I'm going to use this as my scrap paper. So if I use my highlighter here, I have I want three segments uh, for this one. So I'm going to take my scrap paper here, I'm going to, my, uh, I'm sorry, my um, parallel line L, and I'm going to basically use that as my scrap paper. So I'm going to say, okay, let's make this, uh, there's one, slide this down, oops, slide this down to that point, right, as, again, as accurate as possible. There's a second one, and I'm going to make a third one here, like so, again, as accurate as possible. There we go. All right, now, the important thing is this point here, your end point, however many segments you need, in this case it was three for me, this point needs to be on the outside of B here. So if I do it over here, it's got to be to the right of B. Uh, that's because we're going up. So I need the angle uh, that this point is now going to go through B, so I need that line to go in this direction. If it was over here, then it would look something like this, and there, that would never really intersect with uh, this blue line here up at the top it would eventually do it at the bottom, but we don't have enough space for that there. So I want this one to be over here on, to the right of where B was. All right. Now, if this, again, if that ends up being too short, just simply erase those construction marks, make your compass a little bit bigger, and extend them. Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, here, if you have line L, like for in this example here, now if L, if that line was not uh, landed a little bit more to the right here, I can just simply extend this line. There's nothing wrong with just taking, you know, this line segment here and just extending it further if that intersection uh, didn't didn't occur. Uh, it would not hurt either way. But all right, so I'm going to put a put a point here at this third one. Uh, in this example, I called it C. All right, and now I can now use my straight edge to construct a line. Uh, let's do this in uh, green here. So we'll go from C through B, and I want to draw it long enough so that it intersects my other blue line uh, somewhere up top, all right, um, from there. So when I draw that point here, and it draws out here and intersects um, here, I now have an intersection point. Again, for argument purposes, um, let's call this E. So that would be E. So again, I now am going to use my straight edge to draw a line segment that connects uh, DA's line with CB's line up here at, and I called it E for this point. All right. 
That's the majority of your construction. Now I'm going to use that point and gr basically I'm just having here is a dilation, right? If I look here, I have one triangle and a larger triangle. We know that these two lines are parallel. So therefore, um, as a dilation, these are similar triangles. So now, uh, step four, number four, if I take my straight edge, and I'll, again, I'll do this as a dotted line. If I draw a line from E to the first point uh, on my uh, parallel line and to my second point, that those dotted lines intersect the AB line that I want to break up. Now I'm doing as data lines because it doesn't. I don't have to draw them. I can just use my straight edge and line them up. The important part here is where they intersect AB. So they intersect there and there. So this now created. Um, I have now created uh, three equal sections, and I'm going to use my little tally marks here to show that these are three equal sections uh, for online segment AB. So this is a nice, quick, uh, much easier and faster process uh, for dividing a line segment up, especially when you have to do a lot of segments. Um, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten segments. Uh, doing the size splitter method would definitely be a much longer, uh, more time-consuming process, though it's very easy, to, uh, very functional to do it. But it's just going to be easier using this dilation method. All right. But once again, in order to even do or attempt to use the dilation method, I do have to have a line that is parallel to the line that I want to divide. So once again, if L is not there, I, I would have to do an, a, a parallel line construction. Again, that would be this line segment here. Take this angle, copy it here at point D. That would get me my red line, which would be the parallel line, and then I could proceed from there. All right. So take this opportunity um, to you know try this on your own. Make sure you have the steps down for this one. And on your worksheet, you do have an extra one uh, that you can use to uh, practice and you know this construction.